Hello everyone, welcome to my channel Rinko Handcrafts. Today we are going to see how to make this mini stocking for Christmas from crochet. Now for this I am using number 3 lightweight yarn in red color and in white color. And then I have this hook of size 4 millimeter. Then I have here yarn needle and scissor. Now let's start. Now here first I am taking this white color yarn to start our project. Now here I'll do slip stitch first to the hook and then I'll chain one to secure it like this. Then I'm going to do four chains after this one, two, three and four. And then in this first chain, I'm going to do slip stitch to make a circle where we'll work in our next round. Now here you can see we have this little gap here at the center. This little gap. In this we are going to do our next stitches. So for next stitches, first chain 2. And then make a single crochet stitch in this center so for single crochet insert your hook pull the yarn and you have two loops on the hook pull the yarn through two loops so this is my first single crochet like this i'll make make seven more single crochet stitches in this round so it will be total eight single crochet stitches and then i'll show you how to join the round now once you completed your 8 single crochet stitches, we are going to complete our round with slip stitch to the top of this first single crochet that we did. This chain that we did initially, we are going to ignore that and we'll do our slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet that we did like this. And this is how our round 1 is completed. Now we'll just pull this another loose end to close this gap like this. Now for round 2, we'll chain 1 and then in this round, we are going to increase our stitch count. So I'll show you how to do that. So in this first single crochet, top of the first single crochet in this V loop, we are going to do one single crochet. And then in this next V loop, we are going to do two single crochet and now again in this next loop we are going to do one single crochet and then in next to that we are going to do two single crochet so it will be sequence of one two one two and like this will follow the sequence till we complete the round and at the end of the round you should have total 12 single crochet stitches. Now for round 3 we are again going to increase our stitch count with same sequence. So here in this first V loop we are going to do 1 single crochet stitches. And then in this next loop we are going to do 2 single crochet stitches. Now like this I'll follow sequence of 1, 2, 1, 2 till I reach here at the end and at the end you should have total 18 single crochet stitches. Now here I've completed my round 3 with 18 single crochet stitches and slip stitch. Now for round 4 again we'll chain 1. So this chain 1 will be common for every round. Now for round 4 we are not going to increase our stitch count. Now with the same stitch count we are going to get our next stocking. So here we'll do round 2 with one single crochet stitch in each of this loop like this. One single crochet here and then one single crochet here. So like this I'll complete my round 4 and then for the next part we are going to change our yarn. So we are going to use that red yarn here. So I'll show you how to change that yarn now here i have completed my 18 stitches 
I haven't joined the round yet now I'm going to change my yarn and I'm going to use red yarn here so for that to do this smooth transition here what you can do insert the hook to the top of the first single crochet that we did to make a slip stitch insert the hook like this and instead of pulling this yarn through the hook we'll take this red yarn like this hold it like this and then pull this red yarn through the loops to make a slip stitch here like this and now pull all these ends to make tight slip stitch like this and now we'll chain one to secure it now we'll cut this yarn because we don't want this white yarn as of now so we'll just cut it now after chain one here we are going to work in round five and to start we'll hold these two loose ends from this round four like this and we are going to weave them together when we do our stitches for round 5 now for round 5 again we are going to do one single crochet stitch in each of these loops here and hold your loose ends like this so it will be secure automatically and you don't have to weave that at the end with needle here I've completed my 18 stitches and now like every other round I'm going to join this round with slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet that I did and then I'll just turn my work inside out because this will be the outside of the stocking and this is going to be the inside and then it will be easy for me to work for next rounds if we turn our work like this now for round six round six again i'll chain one and then we are going to follow the same exact steps of round five one double crochet in each of these round now we are not going to change our stitch count and like this we'll complete our next four rounds so once i complete my round nine then i'll meet you back there now once I have completed 18 single crochet stitches in round 9 then I am going to change my yarn again like we did during round 5. So I will make a slip stitch with white color yarn here and then chain 1 to secure it and now in next round what we are going to do is now we are working we are going to work on this heel part the heel of the stocking okay now for that after chain one we are going to do slip stitch in this next loop like this holding the loose yarns together and then in the next loop we are going to do one single crochet stitch here And then again one single crochet in this next loop now after this I'm going to work four half double crochet in four loop so one half double crochet in each loop here then again two single crochet stitches in each loop and then one slip stitch like we did before
I will just cut this extra yarn. And now for this heel part, we are going to work on 10 stitches only and we are going to keep the 8 stitches as it is. Now once slip stitch is done, we are going to chain 1 and we are going to turn our work like this. And then again we are going to follow the same sequence of 1 slip stitch, 2 single crochet stitches and 4 half double crochet stitches. Now here we have completed our round 2 of hill part then for round 3 we will again chain 1 and turn our work and we will follow the same sequence of 1 slip stitch, 2 single crochet, 4 half double crochet, 2 single crochet and 1 slip stitch. So like this I will complete 4 rounds total 4 rounds and then I will meet you back here. Now here I am at the end of round 4 of this hill and I have done two single crochet stitches now here I'll make one slip stitch so like this I'll make a slip stitch and then I'm going to make one more slip stitch to this red yarn which you can see to join the hill to the base here now after this we are going to do chain 1 and we are going to turn our work and then we will work in round 5 here. Now this slip stitch which we did to the base we are going to ignore that and this first slip stitch after that we are going to do again the same sequence of 1 slip stitch, 2 single crochet, 4 half double crochet, 2 single crochet and 1 slip stitch. And 1 slip stitch to the first stitch you can see from the base here to attach the heel to the base so like this now after this we'll chain one and we'll cut the yarn and again we are going to use a red yarn here now for next part check where your transition is the transition of rounds so I have the transition here so from here just take three or four number loop and take your red yarn for next round insert your hook in the loop like this and then just pull the yarn and chain one for next round now for the first round after the hill part here we are going to do one single crochet stitch in each of this loop till we get 18 single crochet stitches at the end so you are going to do single crochet stitches in all available stitches here just make sure that you have 18 single crochet stitches at the end and to complete the round i'll make a slip stitch to the top of the first single crochet we did like this and then for next round I'll chain one and in this round again I'm going to follow the same sequence of one single crochet in each of this loop like this I'll do my next six rounds and once I complete that I'll meet you back at the end now after you are done with all your rounds with a red color yarn total seven rounds change your yarn and take white yarn Make a slip stitch with white yarn and chain one and after this we are going to do our last round so in last round we are going to do one half double crochet in each of this top loop so i'll do my first half double crochet here then my next half double crochet in next loop 
and like this i'll continue my round and at the end of the round you should have total 18 half double crochet stitches and now to complete the round i'll make a slip stitch to the top of the first half double crochet we did and just to make it more secure i will make one more slip stitch to the next loop and then i'll just pull the yarn and cut it and now we are going to do this hanging rope so i'll show you how to do that just take a white yarn and insert your hook in any of this corner stitch like this and make a slip stitch of white yarn there and after that chain one to secure it you can tie one knot also here and now after this we are just simply going to make 10 chains and then from this side we are just going to do slip stitch to another loop like this now chain one to secure it and cut the yarn now here you see this is how it looks now here i have weaved all my loose ends inside and here you can see our cute christmas stocking is ready I hope you like my video. If you like it, then please give a big thumbs up. Please share my channel with your friends and family and don't forget to subscribe it. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you soon in the next one.